Hello. We're on episode three now. The mole, the mob, and the meatball. So, Joe, based on that, based on that, what do you think's gonna happen? Uh, several derogatory Italian stereotypes. That's right. That was uh, sent over by the mob. I get the toy mafia. That's what it was. Anyway, cutscene time. So, Toys R Us with more guns. Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! I got it. I got it. Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner. Hold me, Cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beam. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just bite bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Troy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The shallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never, and smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! <laughs> so, uh, welcome. Doesn't, I mean, isn't that a question that anyone could ask? Not that they should, but... You know what it means. Anyone could you? ask. Of course hey, I do. Race. That's that's an extra card up your sleeve and never. It has a meaning. That's why it's Except not. When a the very other guy code. catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. Ooh, what did we, we have, get? We have Myro's hypno bear. I mean, I this guess no one else would want it. Serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Anyway, let's see. Is there anything else that we need in here? I'm not sure. You're the one who's done this before. Uh... The drawers are just painted on to make the desk seem useful. Well, that's worthless. Nothing useful in here. How I run but it's fancy. Yeah, I think I think we got everything here, but we can always come back. I guess Bosco and uh, the chick that runs Simple. the store might have some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't worry, you'll catch on to her name eventually. Okay, so we walk on over here. Oh. Box. The alien love rectangle post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among alien love polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. So let's go into Bosco's. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Ça n'a pas de bleu! Who is this, Bosco? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Bosco! No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissy Pants, the cowardly French anarchist. Isn't it more suspicious to have the owner of the store literally swap out, like, every week or so? <laughs> well, I mean, D Bosco probably doesn't realize that. Hey, we can ask him the code phrase. Yeah, we can ask literally anyone the code phrase. Could. Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to. He's threatened by their potential unification. Hmm. 
Hmm. Of course. Uh, so why the French disguise, Bosco? So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The toy Mafia. They got it in for me. Take a number, guys. We were literally not an issue until today. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess they were an issue, but they never were a big enough issue until now. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, uh, they're the biggest crime ring in the city. Why are we just getting a call about them now? Well, I mean, because this it's is plot relevant. This is supposedly New York, so it's probably got like a dozen mafias. Well, good. At least they're, they're big nightmare mafia events. Has the toy mafia committed that way. You. Nothing yet. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, take your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star. Another delivery conspiracy, Bosco? Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or my name is not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. They don't know that. I think your name tag would throw you off. Is his name tag just part of his shirt? It looks like it. <laughs> hey, you got your you got something special ready for this? Maybe. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. You want to give your first one or what? No, you better ask what he has first. Do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. See, see, look, there's a reference to the old game. No, wait, you're supposed to ask what he has. Oh. Yeah, yeah like the first question, and then I'll then I'll yeah. join in. Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Basco Tech innovation. A device non-parel on chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversation, no? No. I mean, yes. How much? Okay, senor. Sissy pants, we'll take that miniature listening device. The price is 10 million. Dollars. Ten oh million? My gosh. Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. What's wrong with the francs? Wait, is francs the, uh, the, the currency of France or do they use the euro? Yeah, that might be the issue, that they kind of dumped their crazy French currency a while back. They dumped the francs in favor of the euro? Of course. Next, you'll tell me they've the Russians have stopped using the ruble. No, I don't think I can tell you that okay. yet. So we have uh, we have to get ten million dollars for this thing. So uh, you want to hear another? Do you have any? I feel like Doctor Evil. Yes, go ahead. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow letter? No. We have more. What about ghosts of Do Christmas you have past. Any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? No. Next. Suits that don't suck. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Another? Companies Disney can buy out. Do you have any? No. How do you know what he was gonna? No. He's literally gonna do that for oh every one of them. So you you want to make more? Let's keep going. Does he have any chipmunk traps? Do you? No. Next. <laughs> Mazes? Do we? No. Oh, do, do we get to say less and less I each think, and every time? I think so. Do you want to keep going with this bit or, or go to something else? Oh, wait. Are, are you still clicking that? No, I'm waiting for you. How, am I not saying anything? I can hear you, if that's what you're asking. Oh. 
Mm. Did it break? Okay. <laughs> Actually, there's one on my list that's pretty relevant. Does he have any high-speed internet for rural Texans? Because you sure don't. Do you? No. <laughs> Uh, one more. Does he have any steamy reptile videos? Do you? No. I feel, Damn like, it. I feel like Sam's going to get hit in the head if I ask again. Do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch no. hair? No. Oh, it actually circles back. Yep. Never mind. Nothing for us. Does he have any? Oh, okay. Next time. Oh, I bet I can scare him with this. And what would that accomplish? It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. He only and looked I to his left. To. What? Well, I mean, there's a window over there. I suppose, but what if they're behind him? See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. He really needs to learn yeah, French if he's going to if he's going to be French. I mean, do the French know French? I think Clearly. it's debatable. Not really. You There's no the, way to know for sure. You know what the easiest language to learn is, though. I mean, for English-speaking people. Esperanto. Uh, actually, it's German. Damn it! I should have just said that. Wait, is there something in the dumpster? In dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Is that an episode of SpongeBob? I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, let's uh, go check out Sybil. Spittle. Or uh, whatever. What's on the sign today? Uh, she is witnessing. Like, witness protection? Or... Just that it's much stupider. Good. I guess. Hello, At least the Sam. place hasn't Hello, changed. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. Oh, but not like an expert witness? Just a... Oh, just watch. It'll get stupider. What exactly a regular is a witness. trial witness? <laughs> oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? What else happened? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's, uh, what's your first case? Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Okay. I mean, at least the legal system is working exactly as it should. Yeah, do you want to ask her the thing? See what happens? Yes! Mm -hmm. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. N nothing at all. We'll be back. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. All right, so now we are going to go and exit. I'm scared to think what she's going to be useful for in this case. Uh, it's, a, it's any wonder with her. Anyway, let's go to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free uh, play. Where are we going, Sam? Whatever. Playland and Casino. We should, also, we should buy Sybil a new sign, because hers kind of run out. Yep. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! I 
think you like this place. Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Free. Oh, Play it's Chuck E. Cheese. Ah! That's Face. right. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. You look really familiar. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a Good. litter of I was of worried we had babies? seen more talking bears I at some know, point. I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, so but he can't hear anything we say. Uh, right? I, I think they I think they retcon that immediately as like a joke. Oh, okay, so we Okay, go ahead and punch him some ear holes and let's ask him another question. You give tokens to first time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what, 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll point? come back then. You see the mole around here? I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes, my dude? Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Teddy Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anywhere. Does that suggest Come he has a here. hat for his penis? Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. You wanna play Gosh, I wonder if the... the rats? Yes, because I thought we're good at that. It's a beloved carnival game with a delightful monster twist. I don't like the staring what bit, but... What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Okay. So we insert our token. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. We should tell him it's our birthday. These rats are gonna pop up. See, if the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch it. But if that rat singing, you put a bullet in his head, Jeffy. Now have fun. How can we not? Crap. There are no shortage of rats around here. I did win. You shoot like that, and you'll never make it in the mafia. Do you have to hit them all? I have to hit oh, 20 to win. Empty. That's okay. It's got to be all of them. Mom used to I, say. Blowing away I mean, it skipped like 20 frames, war. but a wise one. you look like you hit a bunch. Let's try again. Let's play again. It's one breach. Guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Okay, we got the, we got us a magnet now. Wow, you'd think we get more for showing off our incredible shooting skills. Oh yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends. 
Jojo 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891.